Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Finding Nemo. Last time we went to the minefield, you know, after meeting Bruce and Dory. I think we met Dory in the last episode also. And this time uh, we head off to the submarine, which now I actually have it. So I'm recording multiple tracks of audio. Everything should be fine. We got company. Well, it's about time, mate. We've already gone through the snacks and I'm still starving. We almost had that feeding frenzy. Oh, come on, let's get this over with. But, like... Right then, the meeting has officially come to... Hopefully order. now you can uh, hear me well, over the game, Marlin. rather than... Clownfish? Really? Uh, cool. hearing only the game <laughs> versus oh, me. Jokes. Well, I actually do know one that's pretty good. Um, there was this mollusk. And he walks up to the, uh, a sea cucumber. Normally they don't talk sea cucumbers, but in a joke, I don't everyone joke. talks. So the sea mollusk says to the cucumber. Anyways, uh, no, no, I turned up my volume too much. Because my, my headphones still has a weird echoey mic thing. No, no, he's my son. He was taken by, by these divers. Fish. They they show a lot of this movie in this game about the movie, now there is a father and I am still just going to talk over it. Slash slightly not because I don't know which one I want to do more. But it, uh, yeah, so I also turned down the game by 20%, so I want to find out in editing whether or not the game is actually too, uh, too low in volume now. So, hopefully it's not too quiet. I guess you guys would never find out unless I mention it in a different video. Oh, I immediately just missed the <laughs> Tori's face, so she's not very scared right now about being eaten by a shark. Okay, so we got pebbles, all the enemies, 127 bubble rings, which we've already missed, the have already missed three, so that ain't happening. But yeah, now we just gotta dodge for- oh. I love how that counts as a loss, but like, you don't actually die, so, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, that's kind of a win. Oh, I thought you kind of had to fall, Dory. I don't know, it's been, it's been a couple years since I played this game, at least. I can't remember if it was if you had to fall or if you just dodged out of a direction. Wow, they expect you to move back really fast for those rings. And to be fair, I'm not expecting myself to get enough, or to get all of them anyways. Though they do seem to only be just sit in the middle. So maybe I could just... Nope, too late. Never mind, too late. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, shoot. Was my mouse on the screen the whole time? It, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Just slightly. Cause I didn't get the I, I don't have the entire thing cut off. I know that. Really? You could you're gonna make me have to wait all the way, or for you to go all the way back over here just so I can hit you? You jerk! Give me your krill. But anyway, yeah, I, it might have been slightly on screen. I apologize if it was. It's weird having to think about that for a non-computer game, you know? Anything up here? Ooh, Krill. That's gonna matter not at all when I get hit by this thing. Okay, I'm good, never mind. But... Uh... Man... I, I, I recorded a Rogue Legacy video, which came out the day before this video came out. And, uh... 
if you watch these videos around the time that they came out, uh, I, I, th I think I talk about the episode right before that, the episode, which was actually the day before recording it, and uh, I kind of forgot to record or upload, like for a couple days there. I don't know why. Like I had the video all set up, I just only needed to put it into the editor, hit the export button, and uh, that that was it. That's all I needed to do, and I just kind of forgot. Just kind of left it up in the air. Oh, there's a button. Or not up in the air. I, I just left it. Oops. I don't even know why or how I forgot about it. I just realized yesterday. For me, yesterday, I guess. Technically two days ago, because it's 2.13 a.m. now. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I forgot to upload that. So I just said it. So I just, you know, set that up while I played, uh, ooh. Well, while I played games with my sister yesterday. To which, uh, it does bring me to the fact that I now have a PlayStation 4 controller with a cord that both work. So that's cool. I can play PlayStation 4 games again, especially since I have better internet now. And it, it like, actually, uh, or so like the PlayStation actually has functional internet. So technically I could record Overwatch because it uses HDMI cords. PlayStation 4. So it's actually recordable via like OBS, but now I think about it, that would be terrible. Because I'd be playing Overwatch on a delay. And Wait, I lost all my krill for going through there? Gosh darn it. Or did I just not actually have any more? I don't know. But, yeah, like that, thinking about it, that sounds terrible to try playing Overwatch, but everything's slightly delayed. Uh, and, like, I would record some PlayStation 4 games. Honestly, I didn't realize I actually don't own many PlayStation 4 games at all. Even with PlayStation Plus, I still don't even have that many installed. And also, I don't even have PlayStation Plus anymore, because it's still been, like, over a year since I played the PlayStation 4 last. Because of, like, the whole fact that I just had a controller that was broken, so I can't use headphones. So I wouldn't be playing any games with my sister. And, uh, the charger cord for it was also not good anymore. Because I've dropped the controller enough that it just unplugged itself so many times with the stupid, like, things that hold the charger in place and actually make it charge. Like, you know, actually connect it in, like, whatever the heck you call it, in the plugged area for the controller. Like, can you actually use that? I think you can. I think that's... I don't think that's background. Yes. Yes, you can. Well, there goes on the grill. Oops. But, uh, yeah, like, that flattened out, so I couldn't charge the controller anymore, so it was really annoying just to play even in general because of that. So, I, I had no reason to be playing a PlayStation 4 game for, like, over a year. With that and also the internet connection not being good, so if I wanted to play Overwatch, let's say, wouldn't even be able to do because everything everyone would just lag around the map. It'd be super horrible. And I might probably get disconnected at some point. How, what are the odds that both times I look you're walking away? Just go back to the left already. Thank you. Walk faster, please. But, I I'm trying to think of like what games I could record that are PlayStation 4 that I own. There's like Mega Man Legacy Collection that I have. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because I don't think the bubble's going to respond fast enough. Please, bubble, come back. Yes. 
And then I have, like, I guess I could record, like, a Dynasty Warriors game. Which I think I have, like, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires or something like that. I might have another one somewhere in my house. But I'm not sure. <laughs> Got Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, I don't, I don't actually have that much. What was the color over here? Red. Okay. Plus, the, the fact that the PlayStation 4 has that weird thing where, uh, for some reason, when you try to update a game, you have to have double the space of the game, basically, to update it, makes it so I can't have too many games installed, even to begin with. So it kinda sucks a whole lot. It's like, let's say I wanted Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I wanted to play that. Like, I can't. Because it takes like over a hundred gigabytes of space, and I have half a terabyte of space. Uh, less than that, actually, because of like... It, it's a half a terabyte PlayStation, but, you know... The, the required stuff to make the PlayStation work take up some space, so it's less than 500 gigs of space. So, it's so like, I would just be spending 200-something gigs of space for Star Wars... Jerk. For Star Wars Battlefront alone. And I don't know how much I would actually be playing that game to make it worth it. So... I, I hate that problem. If, like, if that problem didn't exist on the PlayStation, it, I... I would like so much more. So I, I mean, either way, I still kind of like the PlayStation more than the Xbox. Oh, there's a red pebble in the green pebble area. Okay, and the blue pebbles here too. Why, are, why is everything hanging around the green pedestal spot? Don't know, but at least it makes it more convenient to find them, I guess. Gonna be. Shoot. I think, what else do I got that I could maybe record? Oh, I have Insane Trilogy. I could record the second Crash Bandicoot game. Since I don't own the original of that, and I don't know if I would emulate it or not, I could always play that with slight delay. And for that game, I don't know how terrible that would actually be. Hopefully not too bad. Because now I'm kind of tempted to actually record that. Then I can go on to emulating like the third game, and I, I really want to play the third game on this channel. So, I attempted. So I, I, I would wait. I, I would at least play a couple games in between the first and the second one, or sorry, the second and the third one. So that way, you know, it's not Crash Bandicoot 2 and then Crash Bandicoot 3. You know, you got a little bit of. Uh, it, like, variety in there first. Oof, that was close. How many more enemies do we got? Oh, seven. Okay. Pretty far through it then. Where did that pebble land? There it is. I would assume the blue thing's over here now. I feel like that's a reasonable assumption I can make, right? We didn't see it anywhere in the other area. There's also that button that, that we saw that I don't know if it was the button we pressed or if it was a different button. I'm just hoping I don't die before. Okay, no, it's right here. Thank goodness. It would have sucked if I got hit before finding that because I think the pebble would probably go back to its original spot. And since the enemies are gone, it's less krill to have, to have while carrying that thing again. So that, like, that would suck the whole lot. Also thinking about it, I think that was the button we hit already. So, we are fine. Everything is okay. This is what I mean though, by like, the, the game gets a little bit longer. When you get farther into it, cause... It is literally just a maze. 
where you have to figure out where the button is. And it's kind of annoying. What's up? Don't mind me. I assume the button's up here somewhere, right? I... You I don't know. But I did almost die. To a mine. You know, why can't I swim in the background or foreground like Dory? Like, wh why can't I have that ability? It seems a lot easier. Everything else is on a 2D plane. She gets to have a 3D space to move in. Probably not missing the enemy. That's like, it's like I'm putting so much time waiting for these idiots to move in the correct spot to hit them. So it would suck if I just like missed one at this point. Cause that'd just be a whole lot of time wasted. At least with the bubble rings, it's like I'm not wasting too much time. Cause I can tell you now, I would. Oh, I was supposed to hit that direction. I thought I was supposed to hit the other way. I can tell you now, it's like even if I did miss, even though I've already missed like three bubble rings. Knowing myself, I would probably still go for the bubble rings that I see, just to collect them. And whatnot. So... But, you're in the... Playing ground? God dang it. I thought they were in the background. They looked really tiny, as if they were. But, oh, that's fire. Oh, I have to hit you when you jump. Gosh darn it. But, uh, yeah. I, I would definitely go for the ring still. Even if they don't matter. Collecting things is nice. It's like half the gameplay here. So it's even nicer. <laughs> it gives you something to do. While you're slamming your face into a pipe. Causing a huge old dust cloud for the heck of it. Why not? You know? It's like, these places just need some good old thorough dusting. Like, look how much dust there is. Come on now. Why does everything have this much dust on it? Oh, hi. How did you not hit? How was I not eating? What's the death animation for those guys? Hmm. I'm curious now. Ooh, two guys here. The last two? Did that say 16 or 15? I hope it says 16. Because that means we're actually about to be done. Sadness. Oh, uh, anything up here? Anything down here? No? Okay. All the bubbles are back, right? I... Hate everything. Man, I don't know why, it just looks really weird to me that, like, somehow we're actually in between the holes, not actually on the same plane as them. So something about this just makes my brain say that I should be on the same plane. Hey. I don't know why I keep missing. Like, something about it just makes me feel like I should be on the same plane as them. Maybe it's because we're not, like, exactly in between them, kinda. We're, like, actually really close to those foreground ones. Remember, there's a slight arc to them. God dang it! Why is- why are they slightly curved? They're just ever so slightly curved, so I miss. Again, also the Gah! Hate this. I hate this so much. Cause it's the last enemy, ain't it? There! Finally! Why did that take me so many times or attempts? And it's only the 16th. Uh that's where we need to go, please. I know there's still more level, because I haven't seen a thing that I know exists. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping very much that there's the last enemy over there. At that portion of the level that I remember. Is that, does this used to be a button, but it's just rested, or is it just a metal cap? Just 
for the resistance of a metal cap. Not sure. <laughs> At least Dory's having fun. I don't think anyone else can say the same. Not even me. Maybe a viewer. Anyone watching having fun here? I thought I got it there. That is scary. Stop. Oh, hello. Enemy? One? Just one? One please? Ah, uh, I ate everything. Anyways, what is this supposed to look like? Ah, got it. The double goes in the middle. Can I move you? Yes. Vertical needs to go at the top. How do rest of it then? Right. That makes sense. I'm not good with sliding puzzles. And that's exactly what this is. So, oh boy. I think I need to set this up something like that. Maybe. Where? So if you're like that, I need to move this to the left. That's what needs to happen here. That is the problem that I'm noticing. Yeah. Dang it. Or at some point in time, I, I got confused and started moving the wrong piece. Shoot. I don't know when that happened, but it did. I cannot visualize this in my head for the life. I don't know why. There. Those should be next week. There. Don't know why that was so difficult for my brain, but it was. Uh, where the door just opened? Is there a button that I was supposed to hit after this somewhere? Ah, right here. Where well, that took a lot longer. I wonder how much I had to speed that up by. I bet you. I want to make a prediction. I want to say it was like four or five times speed, which is four or five hundred percent. Like, cause that that. How long was that level? Ah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it tells me right there. Right. I don't even need to check. How long? But how long do I think? took me to do that specific thing 
What? Oh, okay. Cool. Guess I won't save. I want to say it took me at least five minutes. Oh, what? Wait, hang on, we're racing? Alright, time to match A. Give me those bubbles. Oh, that's weird. I think I bumped into Dory and it launched me downwards. See ya, Dory. Too bad for you. You can't use magic bubble rings that exist for some reason in this submarine. But I can! So, haha, -ha, I'm the victor here. Are we going in reverse of where Bruce chased us? Because we went down that spot, right? I guess we're probably just going in reverse. That's kind of neat. Don't think I've ever noticed that before. I mean, I could also just be wrong. And it could just be for going forwards. But in a different course. I love how he's still lost even in this race, and it's just his win, and he's just looking so confused. It's great. Love it. But, I'm still upset that I didn't freaking get a gosh darn thing, the enemy. Like, dang it. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna assume that even with speeding up things that definitely needed to be sped up, uh, that it's going to probably be at least a 15 minute episode. So, uh, next time, we, uh, do some hide and seek. See you all then. We all tap here. Bye bye